This is back in 1963, and a knock came on the door. My father answered the door, and he walked back with a rather distraught look on his face to inform my mother that we had to move because they are putting a highway down the middle of our street. We moved out of the neighborhood because we had to, not because we wanted to. One time is enough for anybody to endure. This is my neighborhood. I've been here 47 years, and the city wants to sell this to a private developer and take out 67 homes in the church, and I don't think that's the right thing to do, and they keep the gray cloud of eminent domain over our head, and we have no intentions of going anywhere. My mother, my father, my brother, my son, all died while I lived in this house, but we were as close as a family could be. My brother and I in particular, we did everything together. Just to have that taken away to possibly be a parking lot, I don't agree with that at all. But you have to understand, if you're a citizen of Cumberland, this is the beginning point for all this. Ask yourself the question, am I next? Right now, I'm driving by a couple of local businesses that my friends actually own, that I've known in my entire life, and they'll actually be affected by everything that happens in the rolling mill. And this field right here is the nice wide open field where nothing is. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. We could have been well on our way three years ago to economic development, but right now it's still for sale. My home was built for my family in 1897 for my great great aunt as a wedding present. Numerous family members have lived and basically died in here. My mom and dad was in this home until 1997 when they both passed away from cancer. And then my grandmother was still alive and she basically gave me the home with the thought that I would fix the home back up and make it look like a family home again. And I've done just that. I get that you can take your memories and go someplace else, but I've put so much love and work into this home that I've made it the way that I want, and I don't want to go somewhere else to start all over again. When the houses came down next door, it was really scary. I look out my bedroom window and I see a bulldozer and a house next to me just crumbling into shambles. I had no warning that this was even gonna happen. I'd like to invite them to my home and just say, this place is not a bad place. It's been taken care of. It's not falling down. I'm not in your way. But how would you like it if I was just to randomly call you or knock on your door one day and say, I want your home? When I came out of the military, I came back here and this is where um, I came back and met my wife. 30 years later, here we are with four children and, and uh, living here now, being threatened by the city of Cumberland. Like, hey, you know, we want to take your memories, we want to take your house, and we want to give you a tax assessed value for your house. I can sit here on my couch and I can look back through to my kitchen and I can see memories. I can see my kids when they were smaller, they used to climb the door jams and they're going to the kitchen. When they come here to Cumberland, they don't want to look over here and see an asphalt parking lot or something and not see the house where they grew up. This is my house. We paid for it. It's not yours to tear down just so you can make a buck and put it in your pocket.